Hi, this is Mike from Microsoft Box and Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we'll be taking a look at the new features built into the print screen button. Yep, yeah, who would have thought it? They've changed it after all these years. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the print screen function. Yes, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but actually this could be a bit of a game changer for a lot of people out there. So to describe it in more uh, detail, let's head over to the computer and show you what it's all about. So first of all, I'll show you a cutaway of what the print screen button is. For those of you that don't know what it is, uh, generally you will need to have a full size keyboard or 1800 size keyboard to make sure you've got a print screen, otherwise you might have to have a toggle, etc. But anyway, I'm digressing. So normally if you want to uh, capture an image or part of your screen, so you would press the print screen button. So if I do that now, and then what you'd have to do is to open up another program. So in this instance, let's open up Microsoft Paint, and then you can click on paste. And there we go, there is our screen capture. So effectively that is what print screen does. Print screen basically captures whatever's on the screen and leaves it in your clipboard so you can paste it into some other application such as Discord, Paint, etc., etc. So you get the general idea. Now there's also a thing called the stipping tool, which is actually built into Windows, which you can use also. So you can use the snipping tool, which again is one of those things you have to click on to access it. You can go in and do various things, take screenshots, or you can do smaller areas if you just want to do a, a section. Like say for instance here, if we want a picture of just this motherboard, if you do print screen, you're basically going to get the whole screen, which is uh, yeah, not always ideal if you just want a segment of it or you're trying to cut out personal information, etc. So what Windows have done in their wisdom is they've actually allowed you to transform what the print screen button does. Now, of course, this video is going to tell you how to enable it. If for some reason, which it looks like it might be, this is going to be enabled as default for Windows versions going forward. So you can obviously go in and do this to actually undo the setting. So let's head over into the settings cog. And what we want to do is go over to accessibility and then scroll down on this side and look for keyboard. Now in the keyboard section, if you go down to on-screen keyboard, access keys and print screen, which is here, you've got this bit here. So you've got the uh, use the print screen button to open screen snipping. So currently this is set to off. So if we turn it on, now we can close this window. So now if we press the print screen button, we get this overlay come up, which you may or may not be able to see because I'm recording this in OBS. So there we go snipping tool and there is a section which has been saved to the desktop. So if for instance again we want this picture of the motherboard, so we can do print screen, highlight this section and there we go. So there our snipping tool has captured that bit and has been saved. You can choose in the snipping tool settings where this is saved or to actually disable the save in so it just saves it to the clipboard. Again, we have done a video on that previously, so if you want to check out, feel free to do so. I'll link it in the video description. I think that's going to pretty much wrap it up. That is a, a pretty cool thing they've added now. So alternatively, you can do the Windows key Shift and S, which is a shortcut to bring up the same tool, which you can do if you want to. But again, for getting certain parts of your desktop highlighted or the whole thing, or just small segments, it's a pretty handy little tool. And at least now you know how to undo it should it become the default action. So there you go, there is the new feature, which is likely to be baked into Windows after you've done a couple of Windows updates, depending on obviously when you're watching this video. Of course, if you have found that it's a pain in the backside and you don't like it and you want to revert back to the original feature, then you've probably found this video for that reason as well. And again, it's just a simple toggle, toggle on, toggle off. I'm guessing if they do bake it into Windows, it's going to be one of those things that every time you do a feature update for Windows, i.e. Uh, 22H3, uh, 23H1, whatever it's going to be, then potentially it might override it. So you might have to every time go in and undo the change. Anyway, I've waffled on for way too long. Hopefully this video has been useful to you. If it has, smash that like button. If you want to see more content of like this on a daily basis, then hit subscribe and the chime notification if you need to find our future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews on How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.